Hi, Jess. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 Wait, I'm so. Hold on. I'm oh, we can't see you yet. Camera. No. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm. I'm gonna turn on my camera. I'm just running around. Okay. Trying to plug yeah, in my phone. Take your time. Take your time. <laughs> so take your time. Just yeah. be, safe. be safe. Die. <laughs> be safe. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay, Jess? Are you okay, Jess? <laughs> deep breaths, deep breaths, Jess. Hello. Hi, Jess. Hi. Welcome. Welcome, okay. welcome. Oh, okay. Guys, look, at, look at you beautiful people. Singapore, Philippines, Indonesia, Japan. All the yes. places that I have not gone and I dream to go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> welcome. Welcome to our little Asian chit chat Zoom room, Jess. It's such an um, honor to have you grace our our little space. It is my honor to be in this space. Thank you so much. And it's taken me a while. I think you guys have been trying to have a conversation and you know how much I love to chat. <laughs> Life has just been really okay. intense recently. Yes, I, I, under, I undertook a, the fundraiser, which was a very new role for me. And, yeah. um, you know, going into eight weeks of that mm -hmm. was just, no one could prepare me for it. But um, I now know for next time that it takes so much time and energy um, that otherwise would have been available to, to have... Uh, chatted with you guys so much sooner especially being in our last season and now we can talk about everything yeah, um, yeah. but it's amazing that uh, okay. the, how you are using your platform for good so um mm -hmm. and the, yeah what it has achieved so far is uh amazing and we're just waiting for you to announce the final final eight. numbers yeah i know I have to my, my team has to restrain me every day because I want to, <laughs> I, they poor, keep meg, poor meg poor meg <laughs> yeah. because she's, she's still going please for the love of everything good you legally cannot do this to us um <laughs> So, I'm so grateful to 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 have her restraints because I I need a leash. I'm I'm I'm, I'm somebody who's who he, he, he will go totally. Um, you know I I meander. I drift. I I let things slip. Um, I often I'm often the one friend that you'll have. You know the friend in that friend group who is like who's watched the latest show book whatever you're spoiled for us the most, most, of, spoil most of them is like no we haven't please don't spoil it and i'm like spoiling the ending right <laughs> you, you couldn't be as bad as ashley right that's so true she did she claimed that um and I know, I know, I know better than to mess with a bellwether when when she when she stakes a claim to something. Um, but I think I'm a pretty close second because I get so enthusiastic, very much like Tally, um, mm. about just life. I'm just so stoked to be alive. Yes, um, we, we, this is, is this is very obvious that uh, you're so full of life and enthusiasm. <laughs> but yes, um, yes. yes. Uh, uh, Jess, uh, we were just um, we just we were just excited to meet you, and we want to introduce ourselves to you. Um, yes. Uh, so um, this is not really um, an interview. Uh, it's really um, more a chat than anything. Awesome. So uh, awesome. we we would like to take this opportunity to share a, a bit of our cultures uh, with you. I'd love that. Uh, love yes. that. Please. Yes, so that we could entice <laughs> you to come to Asia. Um, soon. <laughs> you, you know what? You've already twisted my arm. I want to go there. So I, I should, I, I mean, the first place. So when I'm, so in South Africa, we, the currency is really weak there. Mm -hmm. um, and so the only place that my partner and I could travel to, could afford to travel to, was we, pa we backpacked through Vietnam mm. and we did go to Bali. And I was my entire, and I was supposed to join him sooner 
because he did Thailand, so it was Thailand, mm-hmm. Vietnam, Bali. Yeah, he, I couldn't do Thailand because I got motherland. I got the pilot, right, but I had to go right, and shoot right, right. in Vancouver. Oh. So he then backpacked a solo in Thailand, which he said yeah. was the greatest food. And but like, I think just from the from the taste of Asia that we experienced, we just wanted more. I'm like, I could, I could, I could live here. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think everything happens for a reason, Jess. Um, now after Motherland Port Salem, you have a legion of fans. Uh, in Asia, every part of Asia, a huge a fandom Just in us. Thailand, Philippines. Oh my gosh! Um, oh yeah. My God. Yeah, Singapore is very small, so it's a smaller legion. So um, Japan, <laughs> South Korea, <laughs> Indonesia. So um, just just wow. come, Jess, just come. Just, I will come. Just give us a call and we will bring you on a gastronomy you. tour. Yeah. <laughs> we'll no bring you to taste all the food. <laughs> Say no more. I'm, you know what I do, I'm gonna do is I just gotta get that visa because unfortunately mm-hmm. I'm still in my immigration process in Canada and I will only get the Canadian passport in four years. Oh, oh. 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 no! I've I've done so much paperwork. I'm saturated in paperwork. I never want to see another immigration form. <laughs> in um, it's just been a lot. But I, I know that it's all going to be worth it when I don't have to apply for a visa to go mm-hmm. and visit. Because that's really the golden ticket is to be able to like cross a border um, to go and see friends. Yeah. And I have mm-hmm. now so many friends all over the world. Oh. And I know you say le- legions of fans, but honestly, I'm a fan of you guys. Like the amount of love you've shown the show and us, you know, outside of the show. Like this isn't, it's just gotten... It's gotten, I don't even know how it's possible, but really intimate on such a public space like social media. I never thought intimacy would be possible. I never thought you could really meet people (laughs) and encounter them. And that love and support and the conversations, man, the conversations that we've we've had Mm -hmm. have been life-changing. So thank you. And I will be visiting and I will be messaging all of you going, okay, Yes, so by the way, Jess, uh, Jess, please accept my DM. <laughs> yes. I gotta put it in there. I, I have upkeep. I have a lot of I have a lot of upkeep to do. Yes, yes. I have a yes. lot of upkeep. Yes, uh, take your time. Um, <laughs> okay, so um, the... Jess, yes. back to our introduction. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. Okay. Please. So I'm Alicia from Singapore. We met briefly uh, during the Zoom party. I was one of the uh, co-hosts and uh, awesome. organizer for the party. Thank you for organizing that. It was awesome. Thank you for gracing the, mm-hmm. the party. Um, it is so um, heartwarming. It's so moving. So, so memorable. Um, and it's so unthinkable as well that uh, a, a, a party, Zoom party that's organized by fans Mm-hmm. Um, and we mm-hmm. sent out the signal, the call, uh, and then you you came. And it's answered. Yeah. <laughs> no. the, the, well, act of asking, right? the act of right. asking, right? Yes. The act of asking, yes. The art of asking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so, I feel sorry. like I could write yeah. a book about it now. Because <laughs> it's, like, it's one of the hardest things to do. But they really, Amanda Palmer wrote a book called The Art of Asking. Mm. And that really, mm-hmm. um, when she broke uh, her band and her broke away from her label and they decided that they were going to, to um, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm forgetting the English word. When you, um, <laughs> when, when you crowd, 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 when you crowdfund. Crowdfund, yeah. And she was oh, crowdfunding yeah. and then releasing it uh, online, uh, you know, without the control of the label. And it, it, she was forced to be in a really incredibly vulnerable place where she's like asking for her audience and her fans to support her music so that she could create independently. Mm-hmm. And it was one of the most courageous books that I'd read. And I thought, you know, I wonder how I could be living more courageously. And, you know, two years later, I'll be an ambassador for a nonprofit organization in South Africa. It would be something I'd never thought I would take on as a role um because i so much think like who am i to to have to 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 try and do this and then 
you think, well, who am I not to? You know, I I have a platform. Why not use it to、mm. see if it can give、mm, just a little、good. bit. Just a little bit, and who knows? You know what what the feedback could be. If it's a no, it's a no,、mm. and those you don't give, you know, they don't give. But if that's the if that's the risk that I'm prepared to take, the reward is like a global giant yes, and that's what this fundraiser has felt like, and that's what the show has felt like.、Mm. It's felt like a call goes out. And this echo of yes comes back. <laughs> I'm I'm surprised that you 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 even doubted yourself,、uh, Jess.、Um, yeah, you you do not know how much fans、uh, love you.、Uh, oh, well, I love, love you guys. I you mean,、play. maybe it's the mutual. You you under like you see me now without um. Like the mask of a character, and also how actors sometimes have to be in press. It feels like you know we have to go in quite polished with answers,、mm. and、um, there is a certain way of being. And I've decided to be more, you know, be more real and to engage、mm-hmm. with my following in the way that I engage with my life, which、mm. is. You know, I'm a pretty private person, and I believe in like discernment and boundaries are beautiful.、Um, but you know, there's also such a power in sharing, even if it's just just a peek into your values and the way that you lead your life and the questions that you have. And I believe we really are stronger together. So I am lost without the people that I ask for help from, and and we're constantly learning from each other. So I feel so grateful. And so in love with the community, <laughs> and, and the love that I'm feeling that's coming back is just—it's—it makes me feel less alone in this world, and that's such a powerful thing to feel. Because there's some really hard moments in life where you just feel like you are not seen and don't matter, and you know, everything seems. So much bigger than you, than you are, and everything also seems so far away,、mm. and nothing really is touching you. And it's those moments that I I know are the hardest to tap into, trying to connect back to yourself and to connect to the world. But I've been so moved by the messages that I've received. The artist community, where you just you know you have this beautiful sharing. Uh, an artist supporting artists and people just like putting their work out there, which is still incredibly vulnerable. You know,、mm. those offerings are like just making everyone feel more courageous, and then you get this like snowball effect where people are just sharing and giving. And and I, I re- you know, in the beginning of the fundraiser, I was receiving a lot of messages that were like, "Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry, we can't give. I can't. I don't have a dollar to give you,、um, but、mm. I will share. I、mm. will."、Um, I'm actually, you know, I'm currently trying to get my my merch up and running, and once that's that when that when that's launched, I will be glad to give fifty percent of the proceeds to the Smiles、yeah. for Change. You know, and you start to just go like a contribution. When you ask, you don't always get what you want; you get what you need.、Mm. And I think this fundraiser was co-created. It became so much more, just like our show became so much more because of the fan fiction and the fan art and the conversations that we're having, been having off, off, off. Off the set, right?、Okay. I mean, I feel like, you know, Lynn and I say this. You know, the Tolder belongs to the fans. That was that was something that was really implicitly put into the story、um, because we had such beautiful characters, firstly to play,、mm-hmm. and Lynn. Is such an incredible actor. You know, she's like a pro. I, I compare acting to tennis because <laughs> the, tennis is you can visually、oh, see I... how people are hitting the ball, right?、Mm-hmm. But acting, yeah, it just looks it. like two people are talking across a room, and it doesn't look.、Mm-hmm. But it's as compelling, right? And it's as like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? 
um, she just made me that much better a player because she's such a pro. Mm -hmm. um, and then once, once our season's wrapped and we've done what we can and we give it to the world and the audience then makes it into something totally different, into so much more than what we could have imagined, um, that inspires. It has to. It has to inspire the next season. So, you know, mm -hmm. season three, I was always trying to get that smooch in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, just, I, I mean, I, because I, I, because I, I totally understood where it was. Because we do, we have insane chemistry together, Lynn and I, and um, we've been trying to tap into what that is. And I think it's just because we both take our purpose so, like, what we do and how we do it. We we have a lot of integrity. We care a lot about what we do, and we bring such a a focus when we. <laughs> are there in that room together. So it kind of becomes like a bit of a fire crackle. Um, and it really doesn't matter what we're saying at that point because <laughs> energy, right? Energy has its own language, like silence has its own language in music. You know, it eat, the, the silence and the notes are both important. Um, so yeah, we just, I mean, I'm so grateful to have an audience who wants to engage this way. And I, you know, I, the first, the first taste that I had of audience engagement was the kissing booth. And that was, that was quite crazy because we, you know, we shot this little, we shot this little low budget feature film for a no, not, not really a name streaming platform because at that time Netflix hadn't become Netflix, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so I, you know, a bunch of South African actors were just like, oh, great. You know, we have some work and we, we do, we'll just take any opportunity and just so grateful for international work to be coming and supporting our industry. But at the same time, we were just like, is this going to be any good? What's it going to do? <laughs> Um, and then to have had it like blow up the way that it did gave me my first like, oh, wow, like people are, are really watching. Mm -hmm. And then this, I mean, then it's now, but just been the golden era of streaming TV. And it's, it's been incredible. But I didn't experience the layer of, of, of real connection like I have with the audience of motherland mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's made me think that we were told often how rare it was that a cast got on the way that we did mm -hmm. and that a crew also just loved the story they'd read the scripts as you know and yeah. they were waiting to read the scripts just as much as we were mm -hmm. um that everyone really cared about what we were making and putting out there in the world and then to have the audience really care as we did, um, it also felt really exceptional. So I don't even call when when I'm talking about like fan fandom. I I always rather it's more a community. It's like pe you're my people. It's like my <laughs> you know because I feel like we are bound in what the show has meant, but that that transcends something. It's like the value, what the place that it touched in us um how it made us feel we are united in that mm. the cast and crew is really um um yeah it's just special? like special, special an ensemble of uh talents and people um you, you mentioned about uh, people who really care about each other uh who love the show and love working together uh this is so apparent um in yeah. all the interviews done by the cast and Actually, especially, mm -hmm. um, uh, especially a parent doing the Zoom party uh, yes. when everybody was uh, just just loving emotional. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very emotional. We can feel the love. Yeah. I was so glad that I had woken up that morning and kind of had rough drafted <laughs> that post for Instagram because right, right, right. I'm like I'm not gonna be eloquent. Um, and then when you when you asked to give speeches, I was like, well, I guess I'm reading this to you now. Um, and yeah, it's a, even just that, like, I care a lot about, you know, we were all thinking about our farewell posts and what are we going to say? And, 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 you know, Tay was, Tay was like, well, we, we, we all have to attend the Zoom party. It's got to be, but 
that almost doesn't even need to be like said it's everything just feels so like well obviously like we're just going to just come together now I, I said to my managers in New York um, when I couldn't get to the QFX because they couldn't arrange for my work permits in time and I was only able to attend virtually they were like is it going to be worth it you know that you're going to be virtual and you know how great is that going to be and I said you do not understand These, <laughs> the, the reason why we had three seasons is because of this community I insist on meeting some of them I, I don't care if it's one person I don't even care if it's none. Just the fact that I'm there, the presence, I just I just want to be there for it. That's a that's for me, I feel like it was a duty. Like I honestly was like, this is this is what it's all been about. And they were like, okay, well, you know, okay, yeah. if you feel like you need to. And I'm just like, absolutely. Because it's been it's been four years yeah. of something yeah. that we've that we've that we've built together you guys have co-created the show it's felt very connected interconnected and i wanted to meet the people that i that also made it what it became <laughs> beyond <laughs> beyond just the yeah. editing room beyond just the shooting beyond the writer's room because that's what art is mm. it's it goes through so many processes yeah. So thank you guys. Thank that, you, that, Jess. That, that Zoom party was epic. Let's have another one. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, we are going to get to the end. No, Jess. Get to the end. Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, let's come back to the sharing. <clears throat> I'm from Singapore, okay. Malaysia. Um. And uh, today uh, we wanted to share with you um two things. Um, that in our culture signifies bringing fortune and two things to avoid uh, or that symbolizes bad omen according to our own uh, respective oh, cultures. Awesome. Yeah, so okay. two things that bring uh, good fortune and two things to avoid uh, or uh, that represent bad Science. omen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so very quickly, uh, for the Chinese, uh, we are very superstitious people. So, um, <laughs> there's so there's so many, but due to time constraint, um, I'm just going to share this. Um, Chinese New Year is a very important uh, period for the, the Chinese. So uh, we believe that whatever we do or say during this uh, Chinese New Year period, uh, which is typically 15 days, um, wow. uh, according to Lunar uh, Lunar calendar. Mm -hmm. um, whatever we do and say, uh, kind of determines the tone uh, for or the, your luck uh, for wow. the year. So it is a lot of pressure. So um, you got to, to be intentional. Yes, right? to be intentional, yes. to be mindful. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, um, so we got to say auspicious things like wishes and greetings, and uh, very typically. Uh, the elders will give a red packet, wow. uh, which is in Chinese called wow. Hong Bao, but it's not empty. It's wow. all, uh, often very, uh, is decorated, it, uh, it's very nicely, you know, decorated. Beautiful. And then inside, what is important is inside is money. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there will be money inside the red packet, um, but this uh, signifies um, luck. So uh, the elders will give this as a blessing or luck uh, to uh, the youngsters. So you will uh, be eligible to receive this as long as you're not married. You're not married. You're not married. So regardless of how old you are, you're still considered a child. Um, <laughs> as long as you're Until not married. Until married. Yes, correct. And you will get a ang pao like this. Wow. Yes. Fascinating. Yeah. So that's um that's one uh, one <laughs> thing, and of course uh you you are expected to wear bright uh colors, um, okay. And then you'll see the decoration. There's a lot of red and. I gold. love the decoration. Yes. Uh, in our virtual <laughs> Beautiful. <background. laughs> yeah. That's that's part of the reason why you see different virtual backgrounds uh behind us uh in our screens. So um it's red and gold. That's a that's the colors that signify yeah. uh, good luck. Prosper prosperity and wealth. So, um, but uh, yeah, the dressing just colorful will do. I don't think I look uh, good in red. So, <laughs> no. Uh, I yeah. feel I feel like I want to dress up just because of that. I've got the, that color yellow. 
I was given a beautiful uh, golden. visitor. Golden. And feed me, you're inspiring me now. So <laughs> try some on. Yes. It's fascinating. I wish the world, by the way, I I, I think that of, of 15 days of, of being more that much more intentional with what you say and what you mm-hmm. put out there. It's beautiful. I wish the rest of the world would celebrate that. <laughs> yeah. Really <laughs> Okay, so that's two things um, yeah, uh, to, that will agree, bring uh, good fortune and then two things to avoid. So, um, so likewise, during the, the Chinese New Year period, uh, never engage in an argument with anybody because that will determine okay. yeah, the, the vibe between the relationship you know, for the, the, the year. So yes. it will be very quarrelsome if, for example, you know, yeah, so that's no, no. Uh, no, and no. Then, no, no. Um, and then mm-hmm. another thing, which is not really uh, related to Chinese New Year, uh, because I, I did notice some of our friends in the West, uh, they actually make this mistake. Um, you know, chopsticks are a very important tool for the Chinese yes. and also Japanese because it's yes. like for yeah. eating, right? So uh, it's re- revered, it's got you know, like very uh, highly revered. So um, I do see sometimes uh, some of our friends, they do that they, when they're eating, like from a bowl or a plate, uh, they stick their chopstick into the, the bowl, you know, while they do something yes. else mm. or rest or, or, or chat. Um, so they stick into the bowl. Uh, this is an absolute no, no, no. Is it like an insult? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, that too. And also for the Chinese, um, when they offer offerings to the deceased, offerings when they pray, like during yeah the, those festivals, uh, they pray their, with food uh, as offering to the dead. What they do is they will stick uh, uh, the incense uh, on uh, into the, the, the food bowl as, oh, as an offering. Wow. Yeah, so it's uh, mm, no, <laughs> it's, yeah, just so, not it. Okay, no <laughs> yeah. conflict and no sticking of chopsticks in yes, bowls. Yes, in two bowls. bowls. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's from me, and I'll pass Thank on you. to uh, my my. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Hi. Thank you. Uh, hi, uh, I'm hi, Mai. Hi. Uh, uh, hope you remember me. I'm uh, one of the someone you met at QFX. Absolutely, yes. I do. I still Hi. have the I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's so wonderful to see you again. Yeah, I, actually, I have a dream, um, uh, which is I I will meet you in person in the future and yeah. have your autograph. Oh. You disappear. Oh. <laughs> you disappear. Oh. All right. No, oh. We must. Oh. 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 Your shirt Sorry. and the book has the same color. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Can you see the Taylor, Taylor signed it. Taylor's autograph. So I want to get your Beautiful. autograph next to Taylor's. I will. <laughs> in fact, and you and you're based in New York, correct? Still. Uh, yeah. in London. 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 Yes. I plan to I plan to come and see some friends in London. I need to apply so many from so many visas to the States, yeah. Asia, to the to the UK. <laughs> I've got a list. I'm making my way down. But the minute I will, I will let you know. Because I would love to sign your book, take you out for coffee. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> it's been, yeah, I mean, the QFX was also, sure, that, that convention was also the reason why the fundraiser happened. Because yeah. mm. Meg, Meg was also one of those people I met. She mm-hmm. just asked me a question, which was, are you interested in running a fundraiser? <laughs> and mm. I just said, Yes. <laughs> It was, I mean, but the timing of that was crazy. And I'll never forget um, meeting meeting you and our conversation about our our moms. And I, I mean, just every encounter has been nothing short of like, well, there you are. Where have you been my entire life? Hi, friend. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so good to see you again. Yeah, thank oh, you. Wow. Yeah. So uh, from Japanese culture, these, sorry. Two things are uh, a sign of good luck. So when you see yes. a tea stock floating upright, yes, this mm. one, and, and oh. tea. this is a, a sign of good luck. good luck because it's very very rare to see this one. Uh, especially nowadays, we use a tea bag. 
instead okay. of using teapot. So you cannot see this one. Only if you make a tea with loose tea leaf, loose tea you, leaf. You, yeah. you might you might see this one. <laughs> so why so why is it becoming rare? Is it just that people don't want to take the time? No, uh, when you use a teapot, there is a net. So usually yeah. ah. leaf are uh, blocked by the net. But somehow oh. this small thing wow. came through that hole and into mm -hmm. your teacup. <laughs> and it's, it's very rare. Fascinating. <laughs> I'm, 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 loving, I'm loving this. You guys are educating me so much. So when I do come and visit, I will... I'll be looking for all kinds of good omens and <laughs> and also what not to do. Yes. Because that's, very, yes. that's also really important. Yeah. And the, awesome. the second one, sorry, how can I show you? So, <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is yeah. Uh, a gecko, uh, a type, type of lizard. Yes, I love geckos. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I do. So, yamori in Japanese. And ya means house, and mori means protection or protect oh. something. So if you find this creature around your house, <laughs> which means your house is protected by the gecko. Beautiful. And, uh, the white one, like this one, is yeah. extremely rare to see. Mm. So this is another sign. Is uh, that like extra sign. protection? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, uh, not not this one, the white one, but the usual one. Uh, live in our my my house in Japan, not inside of my house, but around my house. So, Beautiful. Yeah, my house is protected by them. So, Jess, will we be seeing I, I you importing a a, a ton in of gecko into your own house? <laughs> what do you I, mean? I can too. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're I think they're really cute. I we used to have tons in South Africa, but having moved to, to Canada, I haven't seen one. Yeah. So maybe it's too cold really? for them here. Mm. I don't know. That's right. But I That's really right. they were there were massive geckos in Vietnam. I remember that. They would hide, uh, we'd go out and um there was like these little um um mm like homestays that we would stay at mm -hmm. and at night we'd go out and look at the stars i mean the constellations were amazing and um we were in pretty rural yeah. vietnam it was beautiful mm -hmm. and in the in the lights outside of these homestays the geckos huge they were huge they were like <laughs> Many dragons. They would, <laughs> they would, they would be nesting in these lights for the warmth. Yeah. Um, but it's great to know yeah. that. That I wonder if the Vietnamese also see it as a sign of protection. It'd be interesting mm. to know. I'll get back to you, Jess. Let me check. Please do. Please <laughs> do. Check. Yes. Fa fascinating. Mm. Fascinating. Continue. Okay, okay. Sorry, I'm just. Okay, right. Sorry. So and. Sorry, <laughs> these two are the sign of bad luck. So this is a traditional Japanese sandals. Uh, this itself is not good or bad, but if you broke the stri uh, strap of the sandal uh, while you are walk walking, uh, that means a bad luck. Something bad Ooh. will happen to you. Oh. Okay. So you should avoid. <laughs> I will avoid at all. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's not wear Japanese sandals yeah. then. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. You, you can wear the sandal, but not broke the the stripe. The strap. Stop, mm -hmm. stop, no, sorry. And okay. the last one, are you familiar with the picture? Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. Can you see that? No, Season I can Is it a spider? spider yes, and a candle? I took... And from the picture from a certain place. Yeah, season two. Season two. Oh, episode yes. five. Oh my Tal gosh, that Tal was one. terrifying. <laughs> that was a terrifying <laughs> season. I yeah. do remember it very well. Very well. <laughs> so <laughs> unlike the show, in Japan, yes. if you see a spider in your house, 
at night, night, which means a uh, bad luck. Um, yeah. But in daytime, it's 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 okay. It, it, it's the opposite. Uh, if you see it's a opposite. spider in the morning, it's a good sign. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah and it, it, yeah. In fact, that episode, like the messenger for the spirits, being um yeah, the yeah. spider, yeah, right? The spider. Uh, but for Chinese culture, is actually the moth, or yeah, the moth uh, for, for oh, the Chinese wow. culture. Yeah, the moth. Uh, so yeah, so if you see like moths, especially during <laughs> funeral week, uh, funeral, like a carrier. Uh, yeah, a carrier. So, yeah, mm, a carrier. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. Hey. Okay, so let's hey. uh pass on to Raisha. Hey. Yeah, Raisha, <laughs> yeah. Hi, Jess. Hi, Raisha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Raisha. I'm from Indonesia. Uh, yeah, we also met before at the QFX. <laughs> yes. Your face, I, I'll, I'll never forget a face. Names, Aww. on the other hand, it yep. can get, can, yeah. I mean, oh, you would think that I'm an, yeah, um, yeah. as an actor, memorizing lines is uh, <laughs> yeah. it's easy and I'll, I would never forget a name, but it's, it's not so. Right. Not my brain in any case. But visually, <laughs> I'll never forget a face. I do remember oh. you. Hi. Oh, thank you. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, Indonesian culture, like Indonesian in general, right? Uh, this is the superstitious of uh, something that will bring uh, good luck and then this too is bad luck so this one is uh, if you wear a clothes accidentally inside out it is a sign of a good luck but on the other hand uh, if you do it on purpose it will bring you bad luck Interesting. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, is. I have, I have, I have an accident. I, I accidentally wear loads of like loads of my clothes inside out. Constantly, I'm finding some either polite stranger going. I can see your label, and I think your shirt's inside out, or your pants are inside out. Um, oh my god, that's very so. Cool. That 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 makes sense. Now I know why I'm 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 blessed with the so life that lucky. I have because I'm just continuous yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You and should do this more yeah. often. <laughs> no, you cannot do it on purpose. <laughs> but yeah, not on purpose. But not on purpose. Yeah. Yeah, so next time a, a, a stranger uh, pointed that fact out to you that you're wearing uh, your clothes yeah. inside out, then you say thank you. <laughs> You thank, you. Thank, you. Yeah. thank you. Thank Just you. Thank you. I don't. don't and, and go buy lottery after that lottery. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right, okay. Okay. And then the second one is if you see a butterfly comes to your house, it means that somebody like your close ones uh, like a family or friends will come to the house like yeah for us um yeah guests visiting uh, our house is like uh they bring fortune something like that the, the, awesome. the, the sign yeah it's the awesome. butterfly on the other uh, like uh, alicia say if it is moth the moth is also a sign of uh, like some uh spirit is coming to your house uh, yeah. um yeah. yeah 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 dearly departed yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. we, we departed, do not yeah. want any any <laughs> random <laughs> spirits <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Halloween is just yeah. round corner yeah, <laughs> yeah. Although, uh, although that being said i like to think that my ancestors watch over me so mm -hmm. i always you know i like i'm 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 a pretty spiritual person, and I really do. I've done a lot of contemplating recently on my um, on my ancestors, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, I and I like to be reminded that you know there's there's things that are visible in this world, and then there's also things that are invisible, and that doesn't make it them less real. Mm -hmm. And I think life is filled with mystery, so mm -hmm, you know I just mm -hmm. I just stand in awe and. Um, <laughs> I went continuously humbled um, yeah. by by specifically by rituals and omens that acknowledge that invisibility, that yeah. things beyond our understanding. Mm -hmm. um, I just I I'm I'm very I, I feel like 
in 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 a really profound way western culture lacks so much reverence mm -hmm. to the invisible and the unexplainable and mm -hmm. um i've come back in myself time and time again now having to make my own rituals because i've i i want to have a way of honoring mm. you know it's it's really important in my life. Mm -hmm. So I just, this is, I, this is amazing. I didn't even, I, I'm learning so much. Yeah. We did a sharing of like how our, our different cultures honor uh, our dearly departed with yeah, uh, yeah. Emily. Previously. Recently yes. we had a chat with her. Um, because she's necro teacher, right? Yeah, so of course. Thought the theme was relevant. Yeah, yeah. so... <laughs> Yeah. I love the luck and, and, and bad luck for Tally. Is that, <laughs> her? Is that not her? In a nutshell. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Okay, okay um, bad luck version? Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Then, then there's two pictures. Uh, the first one is uh, if you eat uh, yeah, a lunch dinner or something in, in front of the house, uh, it will bring bad luck. But I think logically, uh, yeah, you you eat yourself. I mean, while your neighbor is just looking at you, oh, I want that. But that's that's not polite, I think. Logically speaking, okay. <laughs> logically well, okay. So in then, South Africa, yeah. we have mm -hmm. you know we have a we have a, I guess a tradition would be called mm -hmm. um, a Sunday braai, which mm -hmm. is like akin to a barbecue, but it's not because it's on you know it's um. It's usually charcoal or wood mm -hmm. and you've got to burn it down to coal and everyone gathers for the whole day, friends and family mm -hmm. welcome. And uh, you have, you know, meat cooked over open mm -hmm. fire mm -hmm. and it's kind of, yeah, it's, it's definitely That's primitive to, to, to my culture, mm -hmm. my people. And, um, but it's outside the house. A big deal <laughs> and everyone can smell a sunday braai like if you're walking yeah, or yeah. driving you can smell in the air it doesn't mm -hmm. matter which neighborhood you're going into you're gonna smell somebody cooking something that you're gonna want to just drop in and eat um <laughs> but that's so would that count as bad luck <laughs> well is that why south africa has just had low setting low power <laughs> Yeah, I guess it's okay to eat in front of your house as long as you're yeah. sharing, right? That you're sharing. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Well, then, you're sharing. Or you don't you eat one, your food Brian. like on the door. Okay. <laughs> in the door, like you. Brian in South Africa is never, you're never Brian by yourself for one. It's okay. always you're in the company of, of loved ones. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so that's, that's good. Sure. Yes, I'm, that's just, good. I'm, just, I'm just wanting to make sure that my country can stay on a lucky path. <laughs> <laughs> Universally lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so much t shirt is local. I want more ocean. Okay. <laughs> and then the second one is again animal theme. Uh, if a crow is flying outside your house or like stopping in your uh, roof, it's a sign of bad luck. Bad luck. Okay. <laughs> I, saw, I saw a crow today and I walked past it and it didn't do anything. It just looked at me. <laughs> does, that, does that mean anything? I don't know. It wasn't on my roof. It wasn't flying because, me, Yeah. It because was... in Indonesia, I think um, crow is not that uh, that we cannot we, we didn't see crow that much because it's not no. the habitat maybe here yeah. that's why if it is kind of like it's so rare, rare that people like what, what is this and it's uh like a dark color like sign of something bad bad, right yeah they're everywhere here yeah. in Canada yeah <laughs> everywhere <laughs> it's Silla the is where I actually I actually asked if it was their national bird to which I was, they were like, what? No. <laughs> but they're, they're so Why are so offended? 
<laughs> okay. Okay, that's from me, and then I'm gonna. Oh, thank you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Jess. Hi, Hi Jess. And Mads from Philippines. Hi, Mads. And I'm going to share you uh some of our Filipino cultures or traditions that we say at like a good luck. So the first one is if you uh you should the moment you step into your new home or house or place of your dwelling, uh, you should bring a container of salt and rice. Mm -hmm. Like this one. Yeah, it signifies wealth, prosperity. Beautiful. So I hope you did that <laughs> when you moved in Vancouver. Be well, okay. <laughs> so I love salt. Like <laughs> I the malt. I don't know if you know a brand called that. It's Malden Salt. Malden, it's, Malden Salt. It is. I'm addicted to it. I put it in my water. I, I, buy, I buy it in boxes of six. So clearly, yes, you have that. Yeah. I have. I I, I have just Malden this natural. I mean, uh, rice. On the other hand, um. My partner loves rice. I'm kind of indifferent to it. But salt oh. is for me everything. For it makes it it it, it makes food. Like I, I think without yeah. the right seasoning too much, of course, it ruins it a little. But um yeah, I'm always yeah, um, salt. Like salt. I'm a salty life. I'm a salty kind of girl. <laughs> <I'm a salty. laughs> have you have you tried have you tried to put salt on rice? No. Should I? Mm, <laughs> I should try you it. have to yeah, try yeah. that. I will do that. I'm going to do that. And I'll let you guys know. Uh, please please tell Jess the, the, the amount to put. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, just a couple. Sprinkle. Sprinkle. Yeah. Sprinkle yeah. it. Yeah. 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 And Malden is okay because it's, it's quite coarse salt. But I like yeah. it over okay. the finer salt. Mm, and if you okay. have sesame, especially black sesame, will be very, very nice. Mm. Okay, my partner is going to be really yes. happy to hear this. I'm going to be like, I want tonight, I want rice with black sesame and salt, please. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put it in the middle. <laughs> I will take, I'll take a picture of it and send it to you, let you know what I think. I'm, 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 a, I'm a massive foodie. I love to cook. So thank okay. you. I'm already on the salt uh, train, but I can get better at rice. I'll get better at rice. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and the second one is uh, this one is pan pancit or noodles. This oh, one, uh, that so amazing. Yeah, so it's like a staple food whenever there is a birthday celebration. Uh, it means long life. Long life. Yes. I love that. Maybe because Sorry, I've, is so I've, long. Been, I've been fasting the whole day. So like just any picture of food, I'm like salivating. I'm just like, oh my god. Why are you fasting? <laughs> oh dear. I'm we so <laughs> We have a you know, segment later, uh, show and tell. It that will be we bad for you. Our favorite local food and snacks. So oh, sorry, please. Jess. Please. <laughs> yeah, no, I want to see. I want to see more. It. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're gonna do that see. later. <laughs> please. I wish I had. I wish I had prepared so I could have brought a, a show and tell as well. Because there's some. There's a South African store here that offers mm -hmm. some. Some. Um, of what I would call like South African cuisine, mm. but I would also have like I would have also have cooked baburti. Oh my gosh, we can just talk about food. This will be a food channel before we know it. <laughs> yes, uh, our next one, our next one, uh, Jess. Our next, uh, next uh, thing, chefing, chefing and chatting. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Arlen and I come on board. Um, yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I watched that the, the, the clip. It was so yeah. funny. <laughs> Baking clip. You <laughs> give us the recipe, and we will try our hand at it. We can't promise it won't be chaotic, though. Oh, <laughs> it's usually <laughs> chaos with us. Uh, uh, actually, Jess, we, we actually chatted with um, uh, S Alan. and Alan before. Uh, 
and uh, that was in like, November last year, and uh, we had a, a food tasting session with them. Uh, I sent over a package of like a collection of you know uh, all our uh, respective uh, mm. countries snacks, oh. including the famous uh, uh, ghost pepper noodles, instant noodles. <laughs> That is yeah. extremely spicy. Spicy. Um, yeah, and uh, they tasted it, and we had that chat, and they they, they uh, tasted it in front of uh, in front of us. It was fun. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Me we could do fun. something like this as well, Jess. Yeah. <laughs> if you are gay, you, you could try. Uh, you can try Asian food. Yes. Asian oh snack. yes. <laughs> yeah. Snack. You should try Asian food. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, uh, yeah, sorry. Bad, what's bad luck in the Philippines? Okay, uh, okay, uh, so I'm gonna share two. So, the first one is if you visit awake, wake. like you should, sh you shouldn't wake awake. F funeral, uh, what, funeral, funeral wake. wake. What is wake? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, you shouldn't, you shouldn't go straight home mm -hmm. because the spirit might follow you at home. <laughs> might yeah yes it might wow uh, okay so scary. if ever you visit a funeral you should uh, go to a restaurant go to park Chris. whatever okay whatever but not go straight at home okay. <laughs> i'll remember that too okay I will. okay okay okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's the, the chinese actually has got something like this as well but not as mm. uh Effortful. So what we'll do is after uh, we visited um uh, uh like a pay respects at the funeral wake uh when we go home uh, we will get ready a pail of water, uh with flowers mm. inside. So and then you just cleanse uh yourself, uh, your face and just uh and then before stepping into the house that will do for uh, us. Yep. <laughs> I love that. And it's also um yeah honoring thresholds right before you cross thresholds. Mm. Mm. Love that. Mm. Okay. Oh, yes. Wow. So that was our sharing, uh, Jess. And then thank we, you so we, we, much. We, we, that's not the end of the session, though. Um, Jess, we <laughs> have, I, I know it's a very long day for you today. Um, it is. Yeah, but, but it's I, been a long I, day. I, I, I totally forgot because I was just uh, as your face, as my face popped into the screen, and I could see all of yours. I was just like swept away into conversation before I forgot to say that I, I have to be out and. Three. Oh, that's okay. my time for the PM, yeah. which right. is right now. It's two forty-six. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. It's been it's, it's been a minutes. long day, but it's been a very yes. fulfilling one. And yeah, I okay. could continue, please. I want to see the cuisine okay. as well. But okay. I just I will have that's to really well. I'll have to love and leave you at three. All right. Okay. So we will just like to be continued. Continue. Yeah. Okay. So um, we will just maybe ask like uh, uh one or two questions. Um, uh, yes. And then we will uh go on to the food uh, yes. segment. Um. All right. Maybe for the show question. Um. Perhaps, Matt, can you ask your question, Matt? Matt. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you share uh with one word uh what do you miss about your co-stars, Ashley, mm. Taylor, Avari, and Lynn. Their company. What do you miss? I miss What's their about company. You? Which is why I'm going to go and have lunch with Tay. Please tell her we say hi. I, I, wish, I wish I could take them, I wish I could take them all for, for lunch. I, their company mm. is the thing that I miss the most in our conversations. Just all mm. all of us being in the same city in the same time zone, yeah. Mm. Okay, so yeah. um, yeah. we move on to the next question. Uh, all right, maybe Raisha, your question. All right. Uh, question okay. Six, uh, six, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So um, there's a consensus between the fans, and apparently Tay also agree with this that Telly what? is the one. Uh, who will raise raise to the general position? <laughs> so yeah, okay. What, yeah. <laughs> so what do you think? Yes. What do you think she will? Uh, what what change that she will do? And then, uh, yeah. How how her 
leadership would be. Yeah, it's interesting because I will. Well, so um, one of the writers revealed to me, um, which was really helpful for kind of, I mean, th this wasn't necessarily ever going to make it into the show, but I always find that it's helpful to have a character that's fully, like, you know where they're going and you know where they came from, even if that life <laughs> before and after isn't seen. Um, and what was revealed to me was that tally becomes the general and i was like what <laughs> and i'm like i thought about it and i'm like oh wait actually that makes that makes a lot of sense um i'm so excited because in my mind i'm going okay well that means well i know season three ends with the world becoming witches now um and i've always wanted the dynamic that i was um really hoping to to i mean if we went from season four five six seven i wanted a uh, screen time with cat who plays petro mm -hmm. we got a little, little bit of screen time in season two where there was like yeah, a moment of yeah. um mm -hmm. allyship where she kind yeah. of you know cottoned on to yeah, the fact that ali yeah, knew more than she was kind of letting on and I wanted to see that camaraderie develop. And um, after the sh after the storm interviews, the one question was, you know, who would you pick as a mentor? And I and I said it would be Petra yeah. Tali. because yeah, yeah. I yeah. do think that Petra displays so incredibly. And 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 you know, General Alder, you know, there's always we got the full dimension of the weight the burden um how heavy the crown is to wear right when you're having mm. to be the one on the front lines how responsible and and i think also really important to take away that power corrupts there mm. is that sense that you know we're all human at the end of the day mm. and yeah. we have to be reminded of that and if we lose if we lose um, sight of that, we can fall into tyranny and we can totally lose our empathy and humanity and sight of the good that we wanted to do. And I mean, I, 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 I stand by this, that, that General Aldous Sarah's journey was season two. Like season two was really her history and really fleshing out that character that was so mysterious in season one we didn't know her past the mask of the general i love her in contrast to the character of petra who very mm. much wears he, her humanity on her sleeve and leads in it from a very different place and i think that's value-based leadership mm. you know she 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 really um I mean, she's got this legacy of the Bellwether the name to uphold, but mm -hmm. in a way, um, didn't feel probably as burdened by it as Abigail did. We, as interesting how an ancestrally that was kind of more like passed down to Abigail, who we felt differently for. We were like, wow, you know, she's really got the weight of this legacy. But there is, I think Tally would would, I think from having the mentor of Nectar, who was like a dark arts teacher, um, and really how to break the rules <laughs> to having the mentor of Sarah Alder who who um who then also became like an avatar for the mother there was there was a lot that was unearthed but I think still the leader that she was going to become was probably going to be refined through Petra mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. some, somebody who could could show her the ropes in terms of how to now lead from that place of value and i have no idea what she would do like how she would <laughs> i mean i think that she would just aim to lead from that place and probably you know have um yeah i don't know it kind of like i i this is when i just want to call uh elliot and brian and be like hey guys okay we need to like write Help me. The writing session <laughs> Um, I need to know where Tally goes from this. Um, How about removing the manda mandatory conscription? Giving that would giving probably be first, a choice. Yeah, first action. First that, mm. that 100%. But I also. 
feel like that would have maybe have fallen away or maybe it was implied to have fallen away once everyone in the world became a witch because mm. then by that it's yeah. like well everyone would be forced to conscribe so then the world would become a an army <laughs> 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 i yeah i don't i don't know it's a it's a really good question that i'd have to think more about um, <laughs> But I really, I did, I did have a, had, have a dream when I was told that, um, I had a dream that maybe season three would include like at the end of the credits, just like a flash of where all the characters would end yeah. up. We would see Rael and Scylla back in the session. We would see Tally take to the podium and go, welcome to Fort Salem. <laughs> you know, oh, that was the so world. cool. Yeah, that would have been great. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Jess, we need you in the writing right. room. <laughs> oh, we need we need some more seasons. Okay, we are still fighting, Jess. We are still fighting uh, for more, more seasons. I, <laughs> thank you. I mean, I'm I'm there always ho holding on hope, um, and I'm also just determined to to get on whatever the next thing is. I'm just going to. I've told all my co-stars this that I'm just going to basically stalk their careers and make sure that I will. <laughs> I audition for everything that that they're involved in, in the hopes that we can just wrangle the coven back together again. Um, yeah. I'm still waiting for that call from HBO or uh, Amazon Prime to say, oh, you know, we okay. just love the chemistry, the ensemble. <laughs> yeah. We're going to just take you all and, you know, put you in this world now. <laughs> Okay, so uh, with like five minutes, shall we like just very quickly show um Jess what we have? Uh, five minutes. Uh, yes, yeah, sign real, 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 real. go first. Yeah. Okay, so okay. Food. I want to show this one. What? Uh, Ooh, oh, the lotus fruit, yeah. Yes, it lotus. is the lotus, lotus fruit. fruit. And uh, this, um, in some Asian countries, <laughs> it's very common to have this one. For food, use mm -hmm. use the yeah. lotus. What does it taste and, like? Um, it's not I strong know. taste, and but uh, clumsy, and uh, okay. so you can use any ingredients to cook with. Um, so I want to show this one. Mm. <laughs> so okay. if you cut the lotus roots, um, that's like pickles. Yeah. Some oh, yeah, beautiful. beautiful. You may cut it. The yeah, yeah. And, and we believe uh, this is um, this implies uh, you can see your future because Ooh. if you put this like like you, like Tally's power, Tally would have been eating that all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because because if you put this in front of you, you can still see other side through the hole. I so that's that. uh, that's we think uh, we can wow. see. Uh, our future see through oh. the veil yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The lotus so fruit is, uh, yeah, I fruit. cannot wait to taste that I yeah, cannot please. wait uh, to... uh, actually I made this so if you come to Japan I can cook it, this for you uh, oh. <laughs> London too oh come if to London, London. Yeah, if you come, if come, to London. come to London yeah. but also Japan I yeah. just I, uh, it's on my dream list Singapore, Philippines, Indonesia, it's happening. It's going yes. down. It's yes. happening. Yeah. It's happening. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Um, okay, Raisha? Yeah. yeah. Go. Okay, mine is this uh, tempe mandoan. Have you heard? Oh. We, uh, tempe for the past few years has been gaining popularity because of people like more shifting to the plant based diet, right? So, and yep. tempe is one of the source of protein. But in Indonesia, it's like a staple because it's cheap. It's uh, yes. very high nutrient, and then you can cook it whatever you like. So this one is tempeh mandoan. I cook it just uh, slice it thinly and then deep fry it, but not until crispy, and eat it with this sauce, uh, sweet soy sauce with uh, sliced chili. So it's Ooh. sweet and spicy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I should have eaten before this web like this yeah. was <laughs> you're, feeling, you're feeling hungry right now, right? I, I am. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Keep okay, going. Let's, Do not. let's go. Okay, uh, mine is Suman. This is called Suman. 
Okay, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, when you open it, it's like this. Or it's also... Made of, it's made of glutinous rice cooked in coconut milk. And then, mm. so what I do is I dip, dip this in sugar. So, it will taste Ooh. sweet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's it. <laughs> Wait, so, and then what's, what is what, the what, what's, in, yeah. what's inside it? Uh, it's just glutinous rice. Just glutinous rice. Wow. Or sticky rice. Sticky rice. <laughs> so, this is my breakfast now. <laughs> It's, it's, it's almost 6 a.m. Yeah. at this 6 a.m. here. Um, you woke up so early. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so for you, early. Jess. Oh, for you, Jess. Okay, so mm -hmm. last, last, I, I know you got to go uh, soon. So uh, I'm just going to show you this. Um, this is our Chinese pastry. Uh, it's Beautiful. called Ang Gu Gui, which is uh, red turtle um cake Good. okay so uh yeah so you'll see that it is uh it's actually make, made of uh, uh glutinous rice mm -hmm. uh skin so inside there is a sweet feeling so different color represent different feelings um and uh it's on uh, presented on a banana leaf mm -hmm. banana this, uh, is a yeah. banana leaf yeah Beautiful. so uh you'll see that uh it's molded uh, uh like a turtle tortoise shell because yeah, tortoise oh, is good. known for its longevity, so it's auspicious. You see, it's presented to wish, uh, you know, longevity mm -hmm. to others, mm -hmm. prosperity, and so on. So, uh, there are uh, different feelings. Uh, so the this one, uh, uh, yeah, this one is yen, is uh, purple. Mm, no, uh, purple. This yeah. green green one is a uh, coconut. Uh, and then there's green paste Mom and bit. then uh, mm. coconut, um, a peanut, uh, peanut uh, oh, as well. Peanut. Yes. So. Oh, no. What's your favorite? Uh, my favorite is the one that is a green bean. One of these red, yeah. Yeah, mung bean. Oh, okay, bean, right? so yeah. green, I'm going to need bean. you all to yeah. package mm -hmm. said food and ship it to Canada. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jess. Thank you. I, 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 yeah, I am so. This is this has been so amazing. I had no idea. I mean, I thought I knew we were gonna go for a chat. Had no expectation. I have not. I'm walking away with a wealth of knowledge and <laughs> and um and so many beautiful uh, new rituals. And I will be looking for good and uh, bad omens. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so funny because my last interview I was talking about so <clears throat> pre. Two weeks ago, I was visited by a bear. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw it in your story. <laughs> if, 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 if your culture thinks that's a good or bad omen, <laughs> but I did my research because it was such a profound encounter. This, I thought my neighbors had gotten a new dog or had gotten a dog and the, I, I was hearing this pawing at the door. I was on my balcony mm -hmm. and it was coming from my yard. Before I knew it, a bear emerged and like plodded its way down. It looked up at me. I was filming like I couldn't believe that this was it's an actual bear. And he made eye contact with me and then just like, you know, proceeded on his way through his day. And I was just like, I rattled by, I wasn't scared. It was just, it felt like it really saw me. I was seen by a bear. Mm. I went on to Google it. Apparently, it's a good omen for protection. Mm. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, nice. I, I just don't attempt to have it. Though. Has its own omens. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm being introduced to them slowly, from crows to to, to bears. <laughs> but do not attempt so to pet many animals. The 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 bear. Please do not attempt to. No, 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 no. Yeah. Respectfully, <laughs> at a distance, yes. I say yes. thank you. <laughs> really nice. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Jess, I, I know you have to run, but do you have maybe yeah. just a few seconds uh, for a, a message for the Asian fans? Yes, sure. Yep. I, just a message to say thank you so much for everything. I... I, you know, I, I've, I say this, um, I've been coming up with new ways of saying it because it almost doesn't seem enough to say just thank you, but it has to be, right? It has to be enough because uh, the gratitude that I feel in, in, in Haosin, um, 
how embraced, how supported, how how loved the this community has made me personally feel. Um, and then to have a, have the exchanges, um, it's like I've tapped in to the inner workings of humanity on a global scale. And it's quite something to have so many global voices resonate. And it's like we're singing one song. So thank you for, for being present for the journey that's been our show but it's also been life after the show and um for everyone who supported my fundraiser um that alone felt like a second summer and um yeah it has just filled me with the maddest deepest gratitude so thank you and i intend to come and visit this 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 South African will be traveling the globe the minute she gets all her visas <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and her means. Um, but yeah, I mean, I said it, I really do feel a lot. So much of this community is um, artist to artist supporting each other, and um, in whatever capacity, I really do believe that creativity is a way of living. So it's how you bring yourself to your life, whether it's you cooking for those that you love um, or writing a piece of poetry or making an, uh, an artwork. I think sharing um, your story matters and is really, really important. And the world needs your story. It needs your voice. So continue sharing. And yeah, I hope that, I mean, in, in for, my, for, for me, I'm just going to continue um, to create and put myself out there and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the arena as um, as a famous one of my favorite favorite quotes of um, I think it was Theodore Roosevelt um, mm -hmm. from his speech the man in the arena and it's all about putting yourself out there and um, that it's not the critics that count but it's the people who are actually standing in the arena risking all to be seen um, and to live fully so yeah whatever that means to you in whatever capacity and um and wherever this message finds you may it just fill you with the desire to um to share and keep creating thank, thank you jess thank you thank you for thank sharing you. thank you for sharing your culture <laughs> and your food and i'm now so hungry <laughs> And also, and also full at the same time because this conversation has been so rich and 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 um and fulfilling. Thank you, and I will be doing this again with you guys soon. Thank you so much for your time and your questions. Thank you, Thank you for facing our occasion. Thank, Thank you, you. and uh, Bye, have a good rest of the day. Thank you, Bye. 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 Bye.